Hi everyone, today we're going to show you how to process a lobster, Chinese style, for things like uh, lobster Cantonese, uh, ginger sky and lobster, or lobster yimin, where you got to have pieces in, of the lobster, uh, of a whole lo live lobster. And this guy has been in the freezer, uh, and actually in the refrigerator, uh, and I like to actually put it in the freezer just to kind of numb him a little bit for five minutes or so. Uh, and, and this way you, you can see he's sluggish, he's not moving, he's, he's numb. All right, so when you get your lobsters, uh, you're, gonna ch you're gonna check your lobsters, and, but you can tell how sluggish they are or how lively they are by how they hang holding on their claws. Like this guy's a little bit sluggish, his claws are kind of flopping, right? That's what my father used to say. He says, he says, oh, you could tell whether a how a live lobster, because basically we'd want to cook the lobsters that are about to be, about to be dead, basically. They're not going to live over the night. So when we go select the lobsters, we'll select uh, the ones that are sluggish. And basically, the ones that are like this, this is the one you want to cook already, because he's kind of, he may be sluggish from the cold, but we don't want him to, uh, he's not that lively. So we want to cook him first. Now the other ones, sometimes you pick them up and they're just like, they're like this and they're holding their claws and they're ready to do battle and you get, they're just like hanging on to you. It's like, you want to keep that one for a little while and put them in the ice box because he's going to last longer for sure. But there you go. Let's process these lobsters. We've got two knives today. I've got a chef's knife uh, and with this knife, I'm just going to humanely dispatch them with uh, one knife right through the brain which is the accepted way. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to move on with my processing. You're going to, you're going to actually pierce this lobster right on in between, uh, right in between the eyes here and once you go straight down and then the lobster will be dispatched. It'll, it'll, uh, it's a humane way of killing it. So I'm going to turn him around a little bit here and I'm going to have him, and the best way to do is open the tail so that you, uh, so you can sort of grip the tail. You can use, you can also use uh, a, uh, a towel, um, but I'm going to put it right here, and I'm going to I'm going to sort of hold it. I, you can hold it out of the way here. What I'm going to do is just like that, and hold them down. And the lobster's basically gone now, and just close it out of the way. So now we can move on. Now crustaceans. Uh, always seem to have nerves distributed throughout. So don't be surprised is as you're processing it that the lobsters keep on moving and things like that. He's not, he's brain dead already, he's, he's dead. So, okay, I'm gonna use the cleaver at this point and I'm gonna take this uh, uh, shell off at this point here and remove it just like that. And you see all the mustard and and things and you're gonna and what I'm gonna do is sort of fold these legs back okay and this is really where the head is right here and and on the bottom you can see that's where the the claws are connected so right about there is where you're gonna take this and this is gonna be a move you're gonna use a lot just put it firmly where you're gonna want to cut it and just give a little tap just like that and then that cuts off this this, this head mouth piece uh, and I'm going to set this aside over here, set the shell aside and you've got these gills here, they're inedible. So what you're going to do, scrape them back a bit. These, uh, the gills, separate the gills a little bit with your knife and with one chop here, you, you cut the gills off. You could pluck them off too if you didn't get them clean. And then you have the legs off to the side here. And this mustard you can keep if you like it. Some people like it, but it's a lot a very strong flavor. Uh, we're going to discard it today. And on this side you got the same thing here. So however you want to do it if you're a lefty or a righty, but I'm a righty, so I'm going to do it this way. One chop there, and I got, got all the gills off. I'm going to set these aside, these legs. And take this, keep your board clean. And then take this here, put it right in the center, just like that. Just position it, and one, 
That's the beauty of the cleaver. Just like that. And then this, this is also the sand track. This might be some, some of the row also on right here in mustard. You take that out. Same thing over here. And we're going to give all this a rinse before we, uh, before we cook this. Now here, you've got uh, what we call in Chinese, this is the lobster head. This is actually the head piece right under the shell. And if you like it, sometimes I keep a little bit of meat on there because um, some, you know, a, a lot of people, a lot of Chinese like this, and I'm included. It's like eating a crab. But uh, if you don't, then cut it as close as possible. And then uh, your, the idea is you get this one piece, and then you want to get three pieces out of this. So you, got, you size it up. You got one here. That's one. Size it up again. Two. So then that gives you three pieces plus the head. Okay. And then you're going to do the same exact thing over here. One, two, three. And you got these. So there's your lobster body pieces. So now the claws, you got these bands. Just cut these off. Okay, and this piece here, what I do is I like to put the, uh, my father always used to say, put the light side up because the light side is, is, is not as slippery as the, as the black side. And he's right about that, I found. So what I do is I just, usually if you're, if you're skilled, you do, the, the chefs will just do it in one chop, but I'm gonna push it right here and then just give it the whack. Just like that. Give it another whack here, separate it. And you'll find that, and then you got two nice edible elbow pieces here. And what you'll find here is that this could be harder or easier depending upon how soft the shells are. And it's probably a good idea. I like getting a slightly softer shell lobster. Um, or you get a hard shell lobster that has soft because sometimes the lobsters can be very very thick shelled and this is a very difficult way to process the lobster if they're, th if they're thick. Like when you get a little over two pounds for your lobster, it starts to become difficult because the shell is so thick. And again, you want this light side up, you just position it, make sure you got it in a good stable spot, maybe put the, the, the end inside on your cutting board and then give it a good whack. Just like that, a couple of wax. So now you've got your claws, okay, your two claws, your elbows, and your other pieces. And then this piece will cut off the antenna because we're not gonna, not gonna use those. And then over here, you've actually got this, uh, this little mouthpiece in the stomach and you just press it with your thumb and then lift this out. And we're keeping this uh, especially for New Year's or for banquets, uh, festive occasions, uh, that we keep this. And this is the stomach sack. You don't want to break that. Just throw that out. Now you've got a, basically a clean shell. And, you know, you're going to want it to stand on the plate at a nice angle, at a nice angle up. So what you're going to do here is just kind of cut this at the same angle. So it stands up on the plate just like that. And if you don't feel like it, if you feel like it's not standing up high enough, you can cut it back so it stands up a little higher even. Why don't we do that? Just make a little adjustment like that on both sides. Now you got a nice angle. That's the profile of that. So, and the, these legs, totally up to you whether you keep them or not. But uh, I like to. Uh, I like to keep them and there's sometimes there's a lot of meat in them and sometimes there's not that much meat and they're just flavoring the dish, but they're worth, definitely worth keeping. So this, this sand track was, uh, is pretty clean, but there's still a sand track. So you can see this on the tail here where you have this little piece here and this really should be taken out, right? This is a sand track and you don't want to eat that. And all of these can be given a quick rinse 
after you clean it, after you make sure the sand track is gone. Same thing here. See, this is a clear, it's clear. So this, this is got, their sand tracks have been cleared out uh, from being in the tank, but uh, you do want to clean them off. So this lobster is ready to go, but if you, uh, if you want to rinse these lobsters, we've cleaned out the sand tracks and everything, but after all this cutting, sometimes you're going to get like shell fragments. So if you want to rinse those and make sure those shell, shell fragments don't end up in your dish, good idea to rinse it. So that's how you cut the lobster. You've got your tail pieces, your couple of head pieces, the legs, the claws, the head, and the elbows. So this is the way you process a lobster when you're cooking it Chinese style, lobster Cantonese, uh, ginger scallion lobster, or a lobster yi min with noodles, or quite frankly, even with a lobster fra diablo if you want to make it, this is, this is the way I would make it the same way because you got the same chunky pieces uh, and the claws to eat. So that is the best way that I've found, and the shell is optional, right? So the shell is decorative in this case. Uh, in some cases you want it, in some cases you don't. But for us, for Chinese New Year, we like to keep two shells and have the uh, double lobster, double happiness lobster. That's the way you do it, folks. And if you have any questions, just put them down in the comments and we'll try to answer them as quick as possible. Like and subscribe if you thought this video was helpful. Thank you.